Okay, this will be video number six in the new collection. Uh, if you've looked at my other videos, you'll notice where those license plates are cleverly covering up the holes in the walls because I haven't had a chance to uh, repair them. I had, I believe, another simplex system there, and what I've done, actually, my eight-year-old nephew needed to a science project, so I decided that I would work with him and build him a fire alarm to demonstrate electricity. So that's what I did over here. I made this. He helped me a lot, but I, I mean, obviously, I had to do some of it. I basically created a system on a Lazy Susan so you can spin it around, and it runs on a battery, and it's totally, there's no electronics involved. I get the pulse from a car flasher and a relay, and everything runs from a 12-volt battery from Radio Shack, and this is the main power shutoff. The reason I did that is because the rules said no electricity was allowed, so I had to run it all on battery. So I'll go ahead and turn it on. And we get a, I haven't put any of the labels on yet. This is actually going to be the normal light, and this will be the alarm light, and this will be silence, and, or this, this won't be silent. this will be reversed. This will be normal and silenced. So I'm going to go ahead and set this off. If I can do it without spinning the thing. And then I can silence the horn. And I made it so, in this case, there's two separate circuits. The strobe light continues to go off. The reason I did that was so that way, since it's going to be at a school, and as it, ironically, they have the same alarm system there, I don't want to cause any problems with anybody, so that's basically what I did. And that's that. So we'll just go ahead and turn it off. And there we go.